Putin's peace conditions are Hitler-like. He demands territory from Ukraine comparable to Israel. Kremlin ruler Putin, in his peace proposal, demanded that Ukraine give up territory comparable to that of North Macedonia, Slovenia or Israel. Expert of German build media outlet Julian Rubka writes about this. According to him, if Ukraine agreed to Moscow's conditions, it would give it a territory of 26,000 square kilometers, which could take the Russian army decades to capture. He calls it unconditional surrender. Putin's words are more a cry of despair than a proposal that should be taken seriously. He knows that Ukraine will not be able to agree to this, since there is no reason to assume that it will lose the required territory in the fighting in the coming months and years, Rubka added. Putin said that he had a real peace proposal for Ukraine. It is that the Ukrainians must completely withdraw troops from the Donetsk, Lugansk, Zaporozhye and Kherson regions. Moscow also continues to insist on the demilitarization and denazification of Ukraine, demanding that the country abandon its aspirations to join NATO. Another condition is the lifting of all sanctions against Russia. If the peace proposal is refused, Putin added, Moscow's future demands will be different. President Vladimir Zelensky called Putin's words an ultimatum, which is no different from his previous statements. He will not stop, he said, comparing Putin's peace conditions to ultimatums given by German dictator Adolf Hitler in the lead-up to World War III. It is the same thing that Hitler used to do. This is why we should not trust these messages, Zelensky added. Ukraine's foreign ministry called Putin's plan manipulative, absurd, and designed to mislead the international community, undermine diplomatic efforts aimed at achieving a just peace, and split the unity of the world majority around the goals and principles of the UN Charter. Putin's comments contrast starkly with his Ukrainian counterpart's peace plan. Volodymyr Zelensky's 10-point proposal, outlined in November 2022, demands the restoration of the country's territorial integrity, under the UN Charter. He has also insisted that Ukraine regain the peninsula of Crimea, which Russia annexed illegally before the current war in February 2014. Ukraine launched a drone attack on Morozovsk Air Base where Su-34 and Su-24 aircraft were stationed in Russia's southern Rostov region on Friday, Ukrainian telegram channels reported. The aircraft were used in Russian airstrikes on Ukraine. Ukrainian telegram channel, Saplienko Ukraine Fights, reported that as a result of the Ukrainian drone attack, five Russian Su-34s disappeared from Morozovsk Air Base. The telegram channel shared images of what appeared to be a destroyed hangar and traces of fire. It's unknown whether the aircraft can be repaired. Earlier on Friday, Russian Defense Ministry reported destruction of 70 Ukrainian drones over the territory of Rostov region on the night leading to June 14. The ministry also said that 16 Ukrainian drones were downed over Voronezh, Kursk, Belgorod, Volgograd regions and over the territory of Russian annexed Crimea Peninsula. In addition, Rostov residents reported fire in the city at night. It should be noted that Su-34 is one of the most modern jets in the inventory of the Russian Air Force. Su-24, known as Fencer, is a supersonic, all-weather tactical bomber developed in the Soviet Union but widely used in the modern Russian army. Both aircraft have been used in Russia's full-fledged invasion of Ukraine since 2020. In early April, Ukrainian kamikaze drones damaged four Su-24M and two Su-24. 34 bombers at Morozovsk Air Base in Rostov region. Субтитры